Hello and welcome. So today we have another IAC or OIAC because I need my series outside Inside Star Citizen, as you saw in the thumbnail. And uh, we're going to talk about what they said in the IAC. So without further ado, let's just roll the intro and let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Grumpy. Following our look at new derelict concepts a couple weeks ago, members of the environment team have begun the process of building the individual pieces that can be used to bring them to life, starting with the big mammer jammer itself, the Reclaimer. Dude, literally the only reason that the Reclaimer fucking exists is to, <laughs> is to have a derelict like wreck of it. There's no other reason <laughs> for that whole ship to exist in the game right now. All right, let's see what they have more. Now this is sort of like a reverse white box phase where environment artists take the completed work of ship artists and then begin to break it down, stripping it of all the extraneous parts and then bending and twisting the superstructure in ways appropriate for a wreck that's one, two, or perhaps even 10 years old. I got a question since you're uh, showing us JPEGs. Uh, are those JPEGs coming with LTI or? Uh, I mean, like, we are sick and tired of fucking JPEGs, just give us, like, something. Yeah, you gave us, what was it, nine? <laughs> nine different derelicts on, like, 12 moons? And now you're announcing, like, I don't know how, like, how long down the line you're gonna give us, uh, uh, Reclaimer Rex. Great. But can we get them with LTI though? What you're seeing here is the beginnings of a, a derelict zoo, as it were, creating the buffet of basic forms that designers and other artists will be able to pull from to continue their specific work, building out the various points of interest players can explore on the planets and moons of Stanton, Pyro, and beyond. You really don't get exploration. Like, you gotta give us an incentive. You gotta give us a reason why to explore those ships. Like, giving us a, a mission to go there and pick up a box uh, is not enough of an incentive for us to go there. Uh, there must be loot there. There must be some, like, unobtainable uh, stuff over there like you can't buy them in the game but you can get uh, those like armor pieces or whatever uh, by going to those derelicts like without that why would we even try and go there except if we want to do a box mission which like why the fuck would you do that that, that like that pays nothing and takes i don't know a fucking hour of your time for, for no fucking reason Oh, I'm going there to look at the derelicts. Great. But more gameplay, please. I'm, I'm hoping that this video is going to show us some more, maybe salvage gameplay. Maybe, because that, that should be around the corner, right? No. It's early days, and this simple Reclaimer derelict zoo will continue to evolve over the coming weeks, in addition to many of the others seen in previous concept arts ahead of their systemic implementation into the Persistent Universe proper. Dude, I'm so glad that this portion of the video is done so we can get to the good stuff, right? At least I hope that there's going to be some good stuff. There is going to be some good stuff, right? We waited a week, so or we waited more than a week because the last... ISC was trash too, so there's gonna be some good stuff, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> the team is also exploring early advanced traversal opportunities for some of the outlaw space stations currently being built for the Pyro system. Traversal opportunities. That sounds amazing. I can't wait to see what this is. If you remember the most recent CitizenCon demo, advanced traversal are ways to get around or through an environment beyond the critical path most people usually stick to. Oh fuck yeah, oh fuck yeah, this is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. Now by following a variety of indicators still being developed, including simple things like tracing the path of an unusual cable or scratch marks on the floor. Scratch marks? Uh, were they done by creatures like fauna and all that? Uh, remember when you told us that we we're gonna have fauna soon? Trademark, PCAG, 
It must be that, right? The players can discover these advanced traversal paths designed to lead not just to interesting tactical opportunities, but special loot and content rewards for those who spend a little extra time exploring. Jared, those are called jumping puzzles. And those are so fucking like 90s kind of game loop style. They're like, come on, dude. I mean, okay, it's a it's a nice addition, but like, is that all that we're gonna get like gameplay wise in this IC? I, I, I surely hope not. As for everything else you're seeing here, this is still very much a work in progress with only the earliest of lighting, texture and prop passes being complete. But it's a neat look at how these stations are pushing not just into new dynamics visually, but a universe of possibility for additional exploration as well. And like with the outposts you saw at CitizenCon, they won't be assembled the same way each and every time. So you can never be too certain what's around any corner. Now, again, I don't want to be nitpicking, but he said that you will never know what's going to be around the corner, but you will because they're like not like procedurally generated they're just going to be there and we're not we're like going to know about those and we're going to share through the community where those are therefore in a month or maybe two everybody will fucking know where they are so <sighs> that's like an overstatement basically and like why 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 do they do that every time i simply don't get it Anyway, let's continue. Members of the environment team also took a sprint to explore something on our backlog, namely the addition of small and medium-sized hangars to the ring structure of some space stations. It's a small touch, but these small touches, they add up to make for a more dynamic landing and takeoff experience as players travel across the Star Citizen Persistent Universe. Now, let's uh, try to concentrate on one word, uh, and that word is going to be backlog. I'm not trying to be nitpicky again, but didn't they say that we're going to get uh, persistent hangers in the next patch or two? Uh, it was supposed to be on the roadmap. I think I saw it on the roadmap, but they took it off for some reason. Uh, and it's not there anymore, probably because they're going to like they're, they're canceling the whole fucking roadmap. But what do you mean like backlog that should have been done already? So I, I, I really don't get it. Uh, I really don't get it. Uh, again, we are gonna get it, obviously, eventually, maybe, at some point, probably soon. Trademark by CAG. Let's switch gears here. From bounty hunting to mining, from emergency response to racing to espionage and security, as the reputation system continues to grow and expand within Star Citizen, so too must the interface that represents it. Oh, okay, so since you made visuals for it, that means that that's a thing already, or that that's gonna be a thing soon. And we're gonna get salvage and... what was it? Let me see. It was uh, security and racing and emergency response and uh, mining and espionage and all of that. We're gonna get all of those soon since you already did the visuals for it, right? That, that's how it works, basically, right? To that end, explorations are underway mapping out the representative icons for some of the various mission-type career paths currently in development for the Persistent Universe. Now, in a recent sprint, icons for several more reputation paths were proposed, including kidnapping, hauling, smuggling, and theft all right so since i have you here uh, jared could you uh please consider uh these let me just switch the camera uh these uh so i have bondage uh version one uh as a career path uh i obviously have uh let me meat beating uh version one uh i obviously have massages version one and in the end i have of course the like most awaited uh, 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 profession in this game and that's gonna be barista version one could we get those jared please just like 
ask Chris is if we can get a barista, at least a barista, maybe not the bondage and uh, the meat beating, but like barista, we gotta have the, the barista. And since like when you use this, like you can use my visual, it's fine. I just did it over yours. And like, since you already have this, that's basically confirmed. Like Half-Life 3 is basically confirmed right now with this, right? Okay, let's continue. Now these aren't the full array of possible reputation paths, just a few that the UI team is currently making icons for. But we'll be covering more about this massive expansion of the reputation system and the various mission types and activities that go along with it as development continues. All right, so sometimes when I'm being sarcastic, some people don't get my jokes. Uh, seeing this means nothing to any of us. They did the icons for things that they think that they will make at some point, maybe. But like, we're still waiting on Salvage for, I don't like for 10 years. Because Salvage was announced back in 2012. And it was announced again in 2016, I think. And then roadmap, off the roadmap, on the roadmap, off the roadmap, on the progress tracker, off the progress tracker, etc, etc. And like, seeing all of this means nothing to any of us. It just doesn't. Also, where's like hacking? Where's data running? Where, where is all of that that was previously announced? But we have theft and smuggling and courier and espionage. Like, do, do I need to make myself even more clear? Because I don't know how else to say it, but like this whole section of the video was bullshit. Basically just bullshit. And it bothers me. Yeah, Jared, it bothers me too. I know, I know, it, it really bothers me. And it bothers me. Yeah, I know, it, it bothers me, Jared. Yeah, I know. And it bothers me. Okay, Jared. And it bothers me. It, that's enough. I am also bothered by this. We all are. Thank you. And it bothers me. No, J Jared, just, just stop. Just stop and, okay, thank you. Next fucking visuals or whatever, please. And it bothers me. Fuck's sake! Meanwhile, the lighting team recently completed a sanity pass on the RSI Mantis cockpit. Now these sanity passes are essential in ensuring the latest tech and process improvements reach assets that were built prior to their implementation. Right, so I'm gonna try to cut this segment short because there is literally zero point in trying to spot the difference between these pictures uh it's fine yeah there is a difference uh great job but like the only question here is how many times are you gonna redo the ships how many times are you gonna redo like the uh lighting inside or uh how they fly like the flight model or uh i don't know visuals in inside like why not finish the ship entirely we have a lot of ships right now I, I don't know how many ships we actually have right now in the game but there's gonna be even more like we are probably currently at like 20 percent of all the ships that we're ever gonna get uh for star citizen are you gonna redo all the ships all the time that's not that's never gonna happen you will need a team of, of like a thousand people just for that to like uh redo them and like get them to another level or get them like to a competitive level with other games because like other games are coming out and this game is already 10 years old and it's gonna be 20 years old in 10 year time and maybe by then we're gonna get salvaged but are you gonna redo like the <laughs> are you gonna do redo the, the the fucking lighting in the reclaimer or are you gonna like focus on uh, the mantis again or other ships like also this is such a small thing they're like why would you even put this into an isc probably because you have nothing else to show and it bothers me dude i know it bothers me too just fucking stop it jared come on and speaking of growth let's take a quick jaunt over to orison and look at some new executive offices being developed Ooh, great. So that's going to give us like more uh, gameplay opportunities, right? Now these structures would be placed out on some of the raised landing platforms and provide a small self-contained working area for Orison's bureaucracy, including an elevator down into the inner depths of platforms beneath. Ooh. 
new gameplay opportunities. Fuck yeah. Of course, as for what adventures players may one day find in such an area, I'm not telling. Mostly because I don't know yet. I missed a meeting. Of course, as for what adventures players may one day find in such an area, I'm not telling. Mostly because I don't know yet. I missed a meeting. Great. Let's move on to some ship updates with this look at the continuing final art phase of the Vulture from Drake Interplanetary, where you can see all sorts of the smaller details you'd expect to see while unifying some of the scale reads where some items in the back half seem to feel a little more chunky compared to those in the front. I mean, yeah, uh, as you may know, I have bought the Vulture uh, with the money that I got through my Patreon. Uh, so if you want to become a Patreon, yeah, you can support the channel uh, and me doing this and buying more ships or just buying equipment for the channel. And after that, like sponsored segments, <laughs> like I don't fucking care about the Vulture. I should care, but I don't care. I want to see how salvage is going to work. I don't want to get a Vulture that's going to be as useless as the fucking Reclaimer. I want to get a Vulture a video of a vulture salvaging knowing what exactly is it gonna look like and what exactly is it gonna do because is that is it gonna be a laser is it gonna be a saw is it gonna be uh like a suction thing and it just sucks <laughs> Oh, just like show us how it's gonna fucking look like i don't care about the visuals i'm sure it's gonna look great Although, I think uh, they changed the color, and that's it. It's pretty much just tightening things up and finishing them off now, ahead of Salvage's intended release later this year. I mean, that's the thing that bothers me. And it bothers me. Later this year. I hope that later is gonna be sooner than later. Like, in the next few patches. I hope that we're gonna get it in 318. I hope. I hope that we're gonna get the full package with the salvage and everything in the like next few patches. If not, great. All right, so I'm gonna try to cut uh, this video short. And like in the end, here they're talking about the Misk Hall A, and like they're showing its progress, and it looks fine. It has a new turret, and uh, that's basically it. It has an animation of like. Um, opening and closing whatever it's gonna run at like four fps because we have uh, like thick rate of four <laughs> currently in the pu so it doesn't really matter that much and uh, afterwards they talked about the banner merchantman uh which is doing great uh after like nine years since <laughs> it has been announced so it's it's doing a lot better they're actually doing it now and here's the white box and there's gonna be a turret and the turret is majestic and it's gonna suck you off literally it's gonna suck you into itself i mean it's like whatever okay and uh yeah let's just watch the last bit and let's finish up the video and finally before we let you go we started this week with derelicts and a mention of those colonialism outposts, so let's combine the two and look at an initiative the teams undertook to explore outposts of days gone past with these concepts that you can see here. Now, one of the many projects the team at Turbulent is working on are the systemic tools that will one day bring these to life across the pyro system. But as with all concepts, artists must first explore the ideas further and set the goals for those systems to build towards. I mean, this is great and all, but this is still JPEGs, right? I mean, what's the point? Also, this is all about pyro and we need more stuff in Stanton. We basically have just one instance of a bunker and that's it. Like, okay, we have Lorval, we have our corp and we have all of that but most of it is completely uninteractable or not interactable with and now you're talking about pyro which we still don't know when we're gonna get because we still don't know when server meshing is gonna be a thing 
And then you're gonna talk about the pirate. I I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting pissed off again because another ISC and we didn't see anything. Like I saw the best fucking comments uh, a few days back on Spectrum, and it was uh, when they gave up on the roadmap. Uh, <laughs> a guy commented. Uh, he said like um, I expected nothing, and I still got disappointed. And that's basically what's happening with every ISC. Uh, that we get in the past i don't know how long so yeah on that note i'm gonna end it here uh thank you for watching and uh, thank you a huge fucking thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel for supporting uh me buying all these um i mostly had most of it but i also bought a bunch of like lights and all the equipment for the channel and uh, yeah if you want to become a patron if you want to support me and the uh, channel itself you can become a patron by clicking on the link down in the uh, info section of the video and uh, send me some money instead of sending uh, cag money or you can do both i don't care like see if i care uh <laughs> maybe do both so we actually get a game in the end so <laughs> fuck's sake don't get don't, don't just don't give them more money please anyway anyway i i should probably say goodbye and uh yeah goodbye oh yeah uh don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space and then uh, goodbye kisses Mwah. we're just fucking ending ever jesus christ the fuck is wrong with me